So my first experience in Taekwondo was in 1985 in a summer camp. It was at a YMCA and every morning from 9 o'clock until about 10 o'clock there was this little Vietnamese instructor uh, that used to teach Taekwondo. It was a little embarrassing because we do jumping jacks and all this stuff for a warm-up and I was wearing these jogging pants with the zipper pockets and my mom used to give me a treat money. I'd have a pocket full of dimes and quarters for the vending machine so I could buy myself an afternoon snack and while doing the jumping jacks, it's cling, 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 and the instructor actually used to pick on me a little bit and make fun, and I was the jingle boy. <laughs> but uh, after the summer camp, I started on a collection of Bruce Lee movies. For me, I was hooked, and I was jumping off furniture, doing flying sidekicks and things like that, and my mom said, oh boy, we've got to get him doing something. So I was a crazy, rambunctious kid, lots of energy, bouncing all over the walls, and then, when my father found a coupon in, in one of these uh, coupon booklets, it was for a Taekwondo school. And not me not even knowing Taekwondo at seven years old, I don't even know if I was really reading the sign on the door, but when I walked in, it was the same material that was done in the summer camp. It was the same moves, the same different instructor, but the same concept of things going on. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm home. As a kid, I was a very unconfident kid. I was the kind of child that if a teacher asked me to bring a note or bring a book to another teacher in another classroom, I'd have to like put the book on the floor, knock and run. I couldn't actually bear to have a classroom door open with a bunch of kids looking out at who was behind the door. I really didn't feel comfortable in a lot of places. So for me, making friends it was hard until I joined Taekwondo. And my instructor, he believed in me even though he, he didn't think I was going to be the one of the students that made it, <laughs> it was, I was one of the least likely to. So my instructor basically um, was like a second father, and in some cases, even sometimes like a first father, because sometimes the things that you can't, uh, when you don't believe in yourself, your parents don't know how to reach you. So I had a mentor who was always there just, I couldn't say no. My instructor would say something, it was like, yes sir, I have to do this. It didn't matter if I felt comfortable doing it, it didn't matter if I believed in myself to do it, it was a matter of, I need to do this. So knowing what kind of child I was <laughs> helped me understand how to reach other children. I got my black belt and my instructor said, oh, you can come and help out, you can give back. For me it was like, hmm, that sounds really cool. So I started helping out. I was you know, 12, 13 years old and I was walking around with a black belt on helping other kids. And you know, when I was 12 and 13, I didn't have the same patience, but I still understood something about how these kids were thinking because it was still very relatable to where I came from. And so just as I've you know, matured over the years and, and increased my, my experience level teaching Taekwondo, it's always helped me have a really strong base for working with kids without proper mentorship, without proper connection. It's really hard because when children don't believe in themselves, they're, not go they're gonna lean on the side of I can't do it. So they need to have someone there that they trust, that they will follow, that they will uh, go down that path with, that will give them that armor, give them that belief and that strength to take it up to the next level.